Hey guys, it's Multiclassic Gamer here. Welcome back to more Happy Feet 2. And I am very happy right now. And you can probably tell based off how the episode looks. I mean, based off the visuals, why that is. But we'll get into that in a little bit. For now, let's uh, get back into our file here. Uh, unlocking chapters. Uh, this is still not very readable, at least from my screen. But it probably would be if I was able to play this on TV while recording. But I still don't quite have that capture... That you know, replacement capture card yet, so we'll just have to go by whatever it does, I guess. Okay, so back to with level four. And of course, each level starts with a cutscene, so we'll have to, you know, stop talking during that time. At least I can I can read this now, sort of. Well, I think I wasn't able to before any... I was able to before anyway, but whatever. So yeah, I am recording this, actually, with my new S-Video cable. So... And I used to have one, well, I kind of always have, like, since, like, uh, uh, mid-2012, I do believe. But, um, that, ca that S-Video cable stopped working, like, uh, I believe it was either late last year or early this year. And since then, I have been going back to component, and it looked like crap. Never gonna find Eric at this rate. Sure we will, amigo. Just keep on dancing and follow your feet. I should probably turn up the game so I can hear it better. Okay, here we go. So, moving on with level four. Once again, we've got uh, penguins to find. Uh, those uh, hidden notes as well on the ground that I don't remember that it, what they're called. But, uh... We need to work together. Oh yeah, sometimes you don't count platforms like this where you have to press C to activate them, but that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. So. Remember. Dance to four beats in a row for a dance combo. Yes, yes, yes. That will allow you to get a penguin to join you by, you know, pressing only four times instead of eight. If you do, if you don't do it, it's eight or whatever. It doesn't matter. So here we go. Collecting all notes as we go. And uh, I believe it's... What are those things called? That the, Those hand notes? I think they're called vibes or something like that. Anyways, I don't care that I'm not even dancing this guy's B. I'm just going to collect these notes. So. Come on. All right, there we go. Man, we need to get better at these combos, man. Like, seriously. Like, that was ridiculous, the way I was performing them last time. Like, that was that was really dumb. Especially at the end of the episode. I wasn't very happy with that. Um, but again, I'm going to try and get 100% on the vibes from now on. I know I said I wasn't going to when I first started this, but like I always like change my mind mid recordings. It's not or mid LP more like it's not with a big deal. So actually, I would've been I would have been less happy if I actually wait until later on to do this, like to because uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to go back to like all the levels eventually to get all the vibes I miss, and chances are I'll probably still miss all the vibes, a lot of vibes along the way. So, there's not really much I could do because, again, these things are so hard to find because you're like relying on that tiny vibration of Wiimote just to find them. So, it's pretty ridiculous, at least in my honest opinion. In fact, actually, chances are I probably missed one by now, and that's because the Wiimote was vibrating as I was doing the, you know, stomp combo. And it's like it was, yeah, like here we go. Okay, I just felt it there. So. No, my luck, this is probably the second or even the last one of the levels, so no, my luck. So again, we're doing uh, three levels per episode? Yeah, three levels per episode. And that would mean that this LP would be like 18 episodes, but it's probably going to be more than that since I'm trying to go back and get all the vibes. So this will probably end up being longer than 18 episodes. But yeah, I was, just, I was going to this LP assuming it was going to be 18 episodes, and if that were the case, it would be ending on October. You know, assuming I go back and actually um, have like two days where I upload two episodes, so that way I catch up with you know, you know, because I missed two, I've mi thus far missed two update days since it, since the start of this LP. So yeah, that's what I would have to do in order to get all the episodes in by October. But it's probably, I mean, by the end of October, but it's still probably going to last uh, beyond that, anyways. But whatever. Stone objects are just too tough for you to break on your own. And this. Hey, there's an emperor penguin. Maybe he can help you out. And this is where the emperor penguins come in, except for the fact that Mumble himself is an emperor penguin. But whatever, we'll just go with it. So yes. 
Emperor penguins are very helpful in that they can... Remember, you can only collect Emperor penguins by dancing to the beat. Dance to the beat by dancing each time the beat marker flashes. Mumble. I know this game is catered towards kids, but I know their memory is not that bad. I know it's not that bad, I swear. Okay. Let's get this guy on our side. Here we go. Now we can, with the Semper Penguin on our side, we can now destroy these uh, more tough objects. So basically, essentially what it does is by clicking the penguins, you increase your offense abilities, even though there's no battling. Like well, there is, but we'll get to that, that later. To reach the exit. Okay. So. Uh -huh. One of us needs to stand on this platform. So while the other can lift it up by standing on this block. So this is where some of the puzzle it, puzzles come into this game. Is some way sometimes you have to find different alternate ways of getting to the exit, and this is one of those cases. Like we need to um, first of all, Mumble has to stand on this uh, block here. That will levitate it, and then you can press Z C to switch to. I just did that wrong. No, you have to. First of all. Mumble has to stand on this platform, or it could be Ramon, doesn't matter what, or you do Remember, this. You can switch control between Mumble and Ramon at any time. Yes, thank you for reminding me once again. My memory's not that bad, Mumble. Okay. Can we have Ramon step on this? You can switch back again. They're really trying to spoon feed all this stuff to you, aren't they? Like, jeez, can you make it any more obvious that you're expecting people to just forget stuff out of the blue? Like, damn. All right, I apologize for cussing there. I'm expecting that there will be kids watching this LP since this game is geared towards kids, so I should I should really, really hold back on the cursing that I normally do in most of my LPs. Well, like even then, I've also I've already been trying to limit my cursing, even on games that are a bit more mature, but still. All right, you fixed it. Now you just need to bring everyone across to the exit. All right, let's do that. So we twist back to Maro Ramon, and we uh, can now join the team together. All right, so I believe we got every penguin on this level, so we are now going to exit. And I only got one vibe, nice. Yeah, you see, this whole vibe thing is going to be very difficult. It's probably going to be the most difficult part of this LP. Because, like, even, yeah, like, there's three vibes per level, and I only, I only got one. So that's pretty much a testament as to how difficult these things are to find. All right, so we're going to continue on to the next level. Gosh, already eight minutes in. Dang. Huh. All right. So yeah, S-Video Cable. So you guys should notice a change in quality. By that, I mean improvement. So that's what I'm really hoping for. And if so, I hope you guys liked it. Because, unfortunately, as far as Metroid Prime 2 goes, this will not come into play until episode 39. Because I've literally recorded that far with the component cable in pre-recording. So, unfortunately, that means that basically the rest of October, all the episodes in October are going to be in component quality for Metroid Prime 2, which sucks. How could Eric have run away like this? You were young once, amigo. I remember you turning up in Adeliland, lost, alone, and just as floating. That's actually kind of funny, because, like, that's actually a really good point, is that, um, Eric is essentially going through the exact same thing that his father went through when he was a kid, you know? He's, he feels like an outsider, you know, in this, in this old nation. You know, it's, uh, I guess this one thing that's really cool is that they make connections between, you know, Mumble and his son, you know? Them relatable in some ways so all right so we need to i am going to wager that there is a vibe somewhere on this platform like i would not put it past and to put one here and i cannot find it though it's just i cannot find it it's over here no it's not i'm just making a fool on myself let's just keep going shall we it's probably on this platform though i wouldn't put a, a crop put it past them to do that do you know you can stomp to push ice blocks like these Oh yeah, I guess this is Push a new thing level. Block all the way along the path, and you can use it to plug that gap at the end. All right, let's do it. Use our combo. 
And nope, I guess not. Usually a full stomp combo should be enough to get it into the gap, I guess not. Okay, here we go. Wait. Going back for vibes. <sighs> These things are so hard to find. I swear, like... What am I doing to myself? Like, I'm literally going to try to get all the all these freaking vibes. There's no way it's going to happen. No way. I'm going to have to go back to pretty much every level it's looking like just to find all these things. You know, it's going to be like two playthroughs of this game and one let's play. There's going to be one where I just go through all levels and two where I, you know, come back for all the vibes. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be donkulous. But on the other hand, that'll probably be the best the best chance to level up all the songs completely because really I in my first playthrough of this game I played through the entire game I did, also did not get all the vibes so like this let's play will probably be the very first time I got all the vibes but seriously um I went through the entire game and I leveled up I fully leveled up maybe half a little over half of the songs seriously they give you so many songs and the level up process for each song literally takes like, you know, five levels, I do believe. So, you know, that's like, and there's only 54 levels in the game. So, chances are you're not going to level up all the songs by the end of it. You know, so, there's a, so much, there's a lot of replay that goes into it as far as like, um, you know, getting all level, getting all the songs leveled up so you get all the penguins. But yeah, it's ridiculous. So. But I guess a lot of that is just to get to the get all the vibes, I suppose. But as you can see, we fully leveled up our first song. Um, the bar did not reset, and it's at seven, so that means the song is as leveled up as it can possibly get. So that means that we have to move on to remember to move on to the next song in the next level. Like you have to remember to do that. You have to switch the song that you're working on in each level. Because if I'm not mistaken, it will default on the first song of the entire playlist. When you go to each level, which is kind of annoying. But plates make it snow music notes, but they won't last long, so collect them quick before they vanish. Okay, so this is kind of a new mechanic that's on this level. Is we have these uh, golden snowflakes that, if you if you collect, will make it rain notes. So it's kind of cool, but it's nowhere near as effective as the as the uh, salmon or whatever it's called, the, the fish that you pick up that makes you invincible and whatnot. You know, it's like the so happy heart in Yoshi's story, I guess. Okay, so let's destroy these uh, rocks here. All right. So we got a lot of notes collected here, but remember that if you pick, if you're on a song that's like fully leveled up, you're essentially wasting notes because you're not, you know, benefiting the song at all. Actually, when you do that. And uh, we've got our first battle coming up here, actually. The first battle of the game, so this is going to be pretty cool. But first of all, let's go down here and click this guy. Because I believe this is the way you're supposed to go next, I think. Or do we need to do the battle first? I don't know. I mean, the goal's right there, so we're not too far away from finishing this level. Even though we've only collected one note, so one penguin so far this level. So we actually aren't really that, that far, come to think of it, but whatever. So yeah, I guess the next thing we do we do is we go battle these birds, skua us or whatever. Although you'll find that the battles really aren't necessarily battles as they are like just uh, being like, hey, I can do this, so you should go away, you know? And by doing this, I mean dancing, as you're going to find out here in a sec. If I can just collect all these notes, that'd be good. Okay, here we go. You need to both stand here and pull off a co-op move to start a dance challenge. So, this is essentially the closest you get to battling this game, is dance challenges. And this will, this is essentially what the boss battles will be like. But, we're not going to talk about the boss battles until we actually get to one. So here we go, dance challenge. It's pretty simple, all you have to do is just, uh, hit whatever the bouncing ball lands on. Up, up, down, up, down. So yeah, this is as close as it gets to dancing levels in the first Happy Feet game, so pretty simple stuff I don't think they ever hitch um, make you use anything except for the uh, um, control pad I think the control pad is really all you use in these dancing challenges so it's pretty simple stuff You're going to need to find something to use as a bridge you think okay so we got another penguin here Let's get this 
guy. Yeah, the quality still doesn't look that good to me. Like, it's not as noticeable until, like, you... Until, like, it actually appears on, on YouTube. That's when it's... That's when it, the quality, like, really looks good. But for now, for me, it looks... It still looks kind of blurry to the point where I can't really read it very well, but... I'm pretty sure it's going to look a lot better when it's on YouTube, hopefully. So that's all that matters to me, is how it looks to you guys. And hey, I found a vibe. So let's collect this one. It just takes a while, that's all. Okay. Jeez, 16, almost 16 minutes, and we still got one more level to do. Yeah. I have a feeling that this entire Let's Play is going to have, like, half-hour episodes, which I guess you guys don't really mind. I mean, like... In the past, probably one of the main complaints I get is like how I almost never deviate from the 15 minute, you know, limit. Even though you know most YouTubers have had unlimited time limits, including myself, since like um, 2011, I think it was actually. But whatever. Or even 2010, actually. I don't even remember what year it was now that we got the um, unlimited time limits. I think it was late 2010, actually. Now that I think about it. And I hope I didn't just prevent myself from getting a penguin. To oh, no, I didn't. Okay, we're good. We're good. So we need to... Get this beat down. There we go. Ah, alright. Dang, I probably, I probably should have LP'd this game closer to Christmas, don't you think? Eh, whatever. By the time Christmas comes around, we'll probably still be doing this game knowing my luck, though. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? Why didn't that work? Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Jeez, I don't know what happened that first time, but whatever. Okay. By penguins, and we missed one vibe. But, also, you may notice that the golden... Uh, snowflakes do count as getting 100%, so that's kind of interesting. That brings the total penguin count to 28. Now we can continue on to level 6. You can collect penguins or break ice objects above you by swinging on an ice pole. Well, thank you very much, game, for letting me know that. <sighs> I said I wasn't going to read those things on a note, those notes on the loading screens, but I guess I broke that promise at one time. All right. So, not only do you have to use your song notes to level up the songs, but you also have to use them to buy the songs. So, we're going to purchase our second song, even though you guys aren't going to be able to hear it that well, since I'm trying to avoid copyright claims, but whatever. Our next song is So Fly, if I can read that correctly through the blurs. So, alright, here we go, next level. Level 6. I believe the next level after this after this is actually the boss of uh, chapter one, so we're going to make us pretty good co progress here. Ah. Uh. Wait. Huh? Don't. The game froze, didn't it? The last time I promised with the game freezing was like... I think Barnyard. And this is 2011, people. This, this, this game froze on me. It's, it's, it's fr froze on me. I'm not even trying to do a nice pun here. Like, this game literally froze on me here. <sighs> I'll see you guys. I'll be back in a minute. Or second, in your guys' case. Alright, let's try this again. We're gonna pretend that a Wii game from 2011 did not just freeze. Like, seriously, this is something I would expect from Barnyard. And even then, it's it should not... Games should not freeze just out of the blue like that. That's just, that's ridiculous. But, regardless, let's continue our adventure, shall we? Hopefully uninterrupted this time. Oh, Eric, where have you gotten to? Uh, I don't know, Mumble. Hopefully we'll find out soon, because we're approaching the end of a chapter here, so you can probably assume that we're going to find Mumble, find Eric soon. But whatever. Anyways, right off the bat, we got our first penguin here. Unfortunately, this Remember, guy... The number above the sleeping penguin tells you how many penguins you need to wake him up. Is this just a, something that's re that recurs through the entire chapter? 
I really hope so, because I don't want to have to be reminded about every single game mechanic every time it comes up, because even from a kid's game, this that's something I should not have to run into or whatever. Okay, so here we go. Um, we are on our new song, leveling it up again. And we're already leveling up pretty fast, actually. <clears throat> okay, so... Yeah, so, vlogging-wise, I don't really have much to talk about, aside from the fact that I've been in school for like, a week now at this point, and haven't really talked much about it. Watch out for skua birds. They can give you a nasty peck. Try using a stomp combo to stun skua birds for a short time. Okay, so I guess I was wrong earlier. It's actually, this is as close as you get to battling in this game, in that you can stun these guys by performing a stomp combo, and oh shoot. Okay, here we go. Now, if you have an Emperor Penguin with you, um, that will actually cause them to go away entirely for a short time. Um, longer than they're actually stunned right now, so... But what you're doing right now doesn't really last that long, so you need to uh, get out of the way as soon as possible. And I see a lot of a lot of empty space here, which means there's going to be a vibe nearby that I'm not going to find at all until like several episodes later when I come back to this level to get it. Okay. Stun this guy, get out of the way, thank you. And we're now going to... Uh, not going to dance, because dancing does not solve a problem. Instead, stomping does. Get this thing out of our way and collect our emperor penguin. Stomp combos will also scare away skua birds when you have an emperor penguin. Thank you for telling my, me what I just told my audience a few seconds ago, Mumble. Thank you very much. Okay. Collecting an emperor penguin gives you super stomp power. Use this to break stone objects or scare away skua birds. You went through this literally two levels ago, Mumble. Why are you feeding stuff? Oh man, that's I guess that's another thing I have another legit complaint I have about this game. Ooh, vibe. Found it. But yeah, just the vibes, the uh the constant tutorials on the littlest things, it's just uh I guess those are the two main thing main problems I have with this game. And the freezing. Like the random crashing just out of nowhere. Just like with Barnyard and even cars as well sometimes. But we'll get into that when I actually do do an LP of the Cars video game, because I am eventually going to do that. So let's see what a stomp combo can do with an Emperor Penguin on our side. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> it's kind of funny, some of the, well, mildly humorous, I guess, some of the things they say, like, I'm going, I'm going, or whatever. Oh yeah, and that one wasn't as funny as the I'm going, I'm going, whatever. All right, uh, next up we can, I guess we have to go back to where we were before. Yeah, this this stage is kind of weird. I think you have like uh, like just a bunch of paths that you can um, take in whatever order you want, supposedly, I think. Yeah, I think this is one of those levels, but since we have an Emperor Penguin now, we can actually take this path now. Yeah. yeah, see what they do is they put the goal basically right behind you in this level, and this uh, penguin that requires you know, five penguins to get, so that's essentially what this level's about, is just going through all these paths in order to unlock the uh, path straight to the goal, which is right next to you. And hey, another vibe! I've never found a vibe this quick. I mean, like, after finding the last one. So, dang, I guess half hour really is going to be the normal length of each uh, Do the windmill. Uh, episode of this LP, or maybe I'm wrong, maybe 25 minutes will be more like the usual length of Okay. Let's get this guy on her side. Okay, we got this guy. Um, wait. I want to unlock this thing first. Uh, I think that will cause him to follow us, will it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Well, I don't think that matters really in the long run, but... Do the windmill. Yeah, like characters, ca the penguins that are following you cannot do this pole dancing with you. So when you jump over to another ledge from a pole, they're not going to be able to follow you the whole way. Yeah. And hidden behind this rock, we have another penguin. First of all, we need to click these notes so we can level up our song again. We'll get this guy on our side in no time at all. 
Yeah, this is what holding the just simply holding the control pad in the left direction does. It gets you the penguin in a very slow pace, and it's not going to get you the emperor penguin. So keep that in mind. Okay, so here we go with uh, more rocks in our way, so we can get them out of the way and be on our way. And hopefully we'll find a hidden vibe under this rock, I think. But I guess not. And apparently you cannot... Oh, okay, no. I guess we're not supposed to go that way. Alright, so our ne next up we have... Oh, that's not the way I want to go. Oh my god. Alright, so we still need two more penguins to get this guy on our side, so we're going to... Uh... But can we go? I guess we have to go this way, don't we? Okay. This pass should get us the last two penguins. Yeah, I think this is it right here. So we need to... Oh, that just unlocks this way? Okay, that's what... Uh, that is whatever. Okay, so we need to get Mumble onto this platform. And then switch to Ramon. Mumble will hopefully stay on that platform to allow us to get across this. Yes, he will. Thank you. Oh, wait. First of all, let's check for vibes, I guess, back here. Is there? Nope. No vibe over here. Okay, it's fine. I really hope we find the last vibe here so we can actually have all of them. That'd be really good. Actually, knowing my luck, it'll probably be right next to the goal, so I'm not even going to worry about that right now. And now Mumble can join us across here, I guess. Okay, so, oops, whatever. I guess he has to follow us, but that's fine. And great, we got a dancing challenge just to get to this last penguin, so let's do it. Oh, last two penguins, actually. Fine. So let's do this again. Again, it's really easy stuff, so I shouldn't even have to explain all that much. This is literally what the boss battles are going to be like. Just saying, just longer. That's all it is. That's all it is to boss battles. Just doing this except longer. Also keep in mind that with each time you miss a note, uh, Mumble actually lose uh, one of his hearts. So that means if you mess up four times in a row, then you will actually die, I think. I'm assuming that's how it goes since you lose your heart if you do miss one, so that's essentially how you die, is by either messing up on the dancing challenges or... Um, or like just getting hit by, you know, the other skuas that just attack you. Wait. Oh, there it is. Our third and final vibe of the level. Was this like the first time I got all three vibes in one go? I think. Whatever, either either In any case, it's really nice. Hey, maybe we can level up the song. Maybe? I hope so. By the end of this level. Oh, we should be able to. There's another rock right next to the goal actually, so. Uh, wake up the sky now that we have all five penguins with us. Come on. Come on. Can you please get over here so we can wake this guy up? Thank you. Wakey, wakey! There we go. Now we have all the penguins with us, so let's uh, level up the song one last time before ending up this level and this episode. So, here we go, y'all. This has been episode two of Happy Feet 2. <laughs> Get it? Second episode of the sequel game. Uh, whatever. That's going to be for today, y'all. I will see you guys next time for another episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. And hey, for the first time ever, 100% on a level. That's really nice. And 35 penguins. Alright.